Hey, hey, pool fans, here we are at the 2023 Derby City Classic. We have round two nine ball action for you guys. Roberto Gomez versus Cristina Zlativa. Roberto from the Philippines, Cristina from Bulgaria. This is round two. Both players have zero losses. I'm being joined by Mark White. Hey, how you doing, Mark? Good evening. Once again, looking forward to this. These two are actually very good friends off the table as well. Uh, Christina does a lot of travelling around the States. I believe she's... I think she's staying for a year, she told me. So she's got a, a work permit for, Austra for Australia, for America. So, uh, well, I don't know. She might have one for Australia as well. Who knows? Yeah, you, you never know. She's a world traveller. <laughs> yeah, loves her. Paul goes in every single tournament that she can. And she's one of the few females that actually go in a lot of the male tournaments as well so well done to you Christina alright so Christina won the lag she'll be breaking first speaking of breaks maybe we should go over some rules real quick we are breaking from the break box which is between that first and third diamonds the rack we are racking with the nine ball on the spot one in the front the rest of the balls must be at random except for that two ball the two ball must not be at the back of the rack. Uh, jump cues are not allowed at Derby City. You can jump the ball, just you may not use a jump cue. You can use your full playing cue, not even your break cue. It has to be your playing cue. Well, what a break that was. She would love to have that one every time. Bit of a thin one on the two, but it's cuttable. Play with some inside. Very good break. Made the one in the side and another corner ball as well. So, yeah. good position. Yeah, if she can get good on this, if she can cut this two and get good on the three, then she'll be off to the races. A lot of left spin to hold this cue ball. Four to the six could also be an issue. Just wait. if she doesn't quite get enough English on it, she might just slide off the the left-hand side of the nine as we look at it. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Might even open up the four into both pockets if she does that. All right, well, not interested. For it. Just playing safe. Okay. Might be one of those it's situations pretty. where at the table it looked a lot more difficult at the table than it does on screen. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure she would have taken it on had it maybe just quite not been quite so thin. So not a bad option. Keep the pressure on Roberto. Oh, did he play that? I wonder. Wouldn't surprise me. He is a cheeky chappy sometimes. It's one of those situations, hey, if it goes in the side, I'm good. If it doesn't, then uh, good safety. So there's a very good chance that he was actually playing that. Christina playing with Mez equipment. Also a very, very good snooker player. I believe she's been Bulgarian champion at snooker. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, you're going to learn lots from me tonight, Kevin. <laughs> it may not all be true. Any of, but yeah, any of it so, useful? <laughs> I doubt it. Well, then even better, because I, I like the useless info. As a look at this three ball. Fortunately, caught the eight ball in the previous shot. Yeah, she's looking to kick this from behind, kick and stick, but she's worried about the three ball hitting the eight. Yeah, if she can get behind it, I think that's the shot. Just wants to catch it half ball off the rail. Yeah, didn't really play a convincing shot there, I don't think kind of cut it too much didn't she 
in trying to miss the eight ball so much with the three. She just caught it a little bit thin. All right, that's going to bring Roberto to the table. Good look at this three to get started. Everything's out in the open. Just stunned past the six ball. Bottom and side rails. A little bit shorter pace, maybe. Would have been nice if he could have got a bit closer. Gonna have to play a big draw shot now. Oh, don't overdo it, Roberto. He's okay. Got a slight angle on it. Yeah, that was a nice shot. commentated on Roberto very recently didn't we in a an earlier match and just love watching this guy's stroke wow wow just seemed to quit on that one slightly he was playing a delicate little sort of a stun follow with just a tiny bit of follow and I didn't like the stroke really so much didn't look very convincing to me maybe a bit of deceleration can she see an edge she has got an edge whether it's any good for her or not I don't know she can try and get behind the eight ball she could put a bit of swerve on it and try and bank this check the cue ball behind the eight at the same time no, it's just a straightforward safety. Now he wants to kick this off the side rail, send the seven up towards the right hand rail as we look and cue ball back behind either eight or nine, somewhere in that region. You might be able to Plays see this. A little bit of, you think so? Oh yeah, I could even see it. Same result. That's a nice shot. This is this is tough to respond to. Yeah, I like playing the seven straight down the middle of the table and leave the cue ball where the you know, up the the rack end of the table. Oh it's not the rack end, is it? It's the, the kitchen end. Just realised we've we've got a different angle on this table, haven't we? Oh, she's gone for the bank, Kevin. Wow. Oh, no reward, though. No love. Done some commentary with Christina. She's uh, very good in the booth, very knowledgeable. Well, next time you see her, ask her if she wants to sit in for some Railbirds commentary. What, and steal my job? <laughs> or yours? <laughs> oh, she can have my job. You two can uh, sit in together. Yeah, that would be good. I'm seeing her in a couple of days, so I'll have a word with her. Nonchalantly walk. That's a big watch he's got on there, isn't it? Look at that. Fancy. It's a bit like one of Earl Strickland's weights to hold his arm down <laughs> on the table. All right, Roberto draws first blood, one nothing in this race to nine. Very colourful character, Roberto. I always try and get him to straighten his hat because he just wears it off centre all the time and it does my OCD no good whatsoever. <laughs> it's a Jordan hat if I'm not mistaken. I think there's actually uh, 
I think there's actually some pool tournaments uh, where their dress code is you can't wear your hat sideways. You can wear it forwards or backwards, but not side. Really? <laughs> You're messing with me, surely. No, I'm serious, and uh, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Resetting the scoreboard. I think it might have. It might have even been the Western BCA uh, regional championship. I'm not sure. Oh, you are serious. Yeah. All right, Roberto, with the break. Missing the one. Made another ball, though. Yeah, the two ball is gone. He has a look at this one. The old long, straight-in shot. This is one of those shots, if you can knock this in, gives you lots of confidence. Cued it beautifully. Now then, how's he going to get to the four, though? That's the four by the top right-hand corner as we look, I believe. That is correct. Yeah, some bottom right to that side rail back out. Have to avoid, you know, avoid the six. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? He might just get round the back of it. Let's have a look. Draw to the side. Watch the cue ball arc. And then the side grab off of the rail and spin up towards where his arm is now. There it goes. Oh dear, oh dear. He's not going to like that. He does have a pretty decent chance of kicking this in. Yeah, he'd love to hit the second route just to get the cue ball move moving. Oh, he's done it off one rail. Oh, and a lovely kiss as well. Got another player trying to get in on the action there, look. Is that Corey Duell? I'm not sure. Wow, that's two misses from Roberto that were unexpected. Unexpected by us and unexpected by Roberto, too, I bet. Yeah, that was uh, very uncharacteristic. And it's the same, similar shot as well that he was playing there, Kevin. One of them, you know, drag sort of hold shots. Yeah. Very similar to the, the seven in the first wreck, I think it was. So if you're going to play safe on Roberto, that's 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 what you leave him. Leave him in an easy straight-in shot. It'll get him every time. Yeah, it's working up till now. Yeah, now just has to be a little bit careful here. Wants to draw this now. Would have liked to have stunned off the side rail. Maybe still can. was perfect wasn't it just a little draw shot another very talented left hand up Christina taking advantage of that miss 1-1 one, one. so this and other recordings brought to you in cooperation with Bad Boys. Be sure to go check them out. They also have plenty of matches from past Derby City. This stream also brought to, you, brought to you courtesy of Hustling Clothing Company, JB Cases, Jerry Olivier Custom Cues, and Litman Lights. Thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. This tournament. Brought to you by Diamond Billiard Products, as well as Simonis Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, 
the Outsville Accurac and Mastered Billiard Chalk, the official chalk of the Derby City. And be sure to go check out AccuStats for plenty of great coverage from this tournament as well. Lots of good matches over there. Be sure to check them out too. I remember we were talking in a previous match about left-handed players who use the bridge right-handed. Do you remember talking about that? Yeah, it's it's amazing how many left-handed players, when they use the bridge, they'll shoot right-handed. Yeah, I found another one today. Jason Shaw. Recent winner of the Hanoi the Open. Yeah, just earlier on today. What a great match that was against Albin Ocean. Hill Hill. Albin was 4-0 up. Should have gone 5-0. Made an early combo on the nine and then scratched. And Jason pulled it all the way back to 5-5. Five -five. And then went down by quite a few racks again. I believe it was 10-7 at one stage. Or maybe even 11-7. And Jason came all the way back and won 13-12. All right, push out by Roberto has left a look at this one. Is she going to try to slice it in? Is she going to try to kick behind it for safe? Kick behind it for safe. Oh, unlucky. She has left a shot for Roberto. Not the easiest of shots, and plus he's got to dodge a lot of traffic to get to that two ball. Well, I, I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to, but I'd like to mention the F word if I could. Fedor. <laughs> and which F word is that? <laughs> <laughs> Fedor. <laughs> seems How do you to feel be about having Fedor as, Amer as an American now? Seems to be stirring up a little bit of controversy on, on the interwebs. Since he is yes, officially he is. on... Uh, Officially on Team USA now for the Moscone Cup. Myself, I'm happy to have him. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why people. I don't know why it's upsetting some people, but I'm happy to have him. But back to the match at hand. Christina awkwardly bridging over this three with this long straight in on the one. center of the pocket with authority nicely done yeah very positive striker of the cue ball isn't she Christina doesn't hold back get far enough I think so I think she can uh, either draw past the four or roll us in with a lot of left spin Gonna find out if she's a right-handed bridge player or a left-handed bridge player, I think. Unless she comes with a, a long extension like Christina um, to catch does. Christina's had a got a special extension, it's absolutely massive, it's about three foot long. Oh, that's an extension. <laughs> yeah. Get away from oh, the five. Too hard. too hard, is it? She oh, okay? maybe. She might. She might be okay. Hard to tell. Be a little bit careful here, though. Positional wise. Yeah, if she can draw up between the five seven. That would leave a perfect angle on the five to come around for the six in the same pocket as the five. I'm I'm assuming she can see the four. Yeah, also the option of going forwards with some high left as well, which would maybe help with making the ball as well if it is a little little bit tight. Alright, she went with your option. Yeah, that's the danger though, isn't it? She hasn't gone far enough, I don't think. Yeah, 
Might be able to steal a little bit of angle from somewhere. Well, maybe not. Coming round to see if she can get on it from that side. I don't believe she can, though. She could always just play this and play the safe on the six. Hook behind the seven. That's another option. Oh, she had angle. No problem. Able to force it around nicely done. You just draw back to the rail. Bounce off about four inches. Oh, bounce. She wanted a bit. <laughs> Still okay though. Not really much to do with the cue ball. Can just stroke this in. Looking to play it into the side. So she's going to go with a little bit of pace. Just committing the angle to memory. Decided to play it corner. So if I ever start playing pool again, not only do I need a nickname, you know, like the Beast. We're talking about Josh Roberts having a nickname like the Beast. It's like, I want a nickname like the Beast. That's a pretty cool nickname. Not only do I need a nickname, I have to, I have to find a shirt with my name on the back, apparently, since everyone's wearing shirts with their names on their backs nowadays. Yeah, and I have a little claim to fame. I've actually given Christina her, her nickname. She's known as the Zlayer. Z L A Y E R. She goes with that one now. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's kind oh, of no. suits. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, it's not a Slayer. It's all bad miss. She made a lot Been of nice shots. Slightly. Yeah, she made a lot of nice shots to get there. She made harder shots than that to get there. Maybe it was the stretch. It's a strange that did game, it. isn't it? What a great, what a game this this is. <laughs> Frustrating. Kind of like the opening monologue of the Color of Money. You can make eight trick shots in a row, but miss the nine, and yeah, you're done. Roberto Gomez says thank you very much. Coming. We mentioned. Jason Shaw winning the Hanoi Open earlier on against Albin Ocean and Albin did have big lead twice as I mentioned and at the end there's a a horrible picture of um, Albin just sat there crying his eyes out after losing that one just shows you what emotions a player can go through there was actually one point where they the commentators thought he'd broken his cue he slammed it down on the floor so hard and they heard a crack and they thought he'd broke his cue but he hadn't it was okay wow a lot of a lot of emotion from Albin yeah still got that break going from the last match that we saw him playing Kevin he's not bothered about making the one he's trying to get the one up over one of the corner pockets whilst making the wing ball in the corner yeah he's got this break figured out and that can be trouble yeah and look how these are laying look yeah, beautiful. Two, three, four, all down there, and then come back down here for five, six, eight, and nine. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, four to the five. If he gets from the four to the five, then, yeah, that's the key. Keep an eye on how he's racking. Just out of Q 
curiosity. Handled that transition. Nice that. No issues, no dramas. Beautiful, wasn't it? Choices here again, can check it or go out between the nine and the eight. Wow. Just about okay. I thought he'd hit that a little bit slowly. They just got Honestly there. Done, mate. So straightforward. Eight and nine to regain that two rack lead. Three one. does so do you remember what order he racked the balls in last time no but I'll kind of know from where they end up after the break so I'll be pl I'll be interested to see how they go and he'll be looking to I forget which side he's been breaking for now. From now, he'll either be trying to make the eight or the two. If he breaks from this side, it's the two. If he breaks from the other side, it's the eight. So it is the the two ball. Watch for the two in the corner. One ball up over one of the corner pockets. There's yeah. the two ball. Straight in, and the one ball to its place by the corner pocket. Now, this is okay. Can cut this in. Might have to go twice across, or one and a half times across. Cue ball somewhere near where, near where it is now. Excuse me. done now these are four and a quarter inch pockets on these diamond tables and part of that pocket does appear to be blocked by that six so he does I don't think he has a full pocket here handles it though yeah played it nice might have to play a draw shot here now though onto the back rail over towards this side rail oh, I just stunned, kept it simple nice big angle on this just has to make the ball could go forwards look like he's coming backwards though Ooh. called it a bit thick Okay, though. Good to watch, isn't he, Kevin? Very smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. Just keeps it simple. Doesn't do anything too outlandish. Just uh, taking care of business. And that really is key. Just keep it simple. That helps with consistency. Don't overcomplicate things. Not ideal position on the eight, though. Bit no, of a this tester. Is yeah, it is. And he yeah, has he's missed it. I'm surprised he played to get on the eight the way he did. To be honest, he tried to run it round. Could have just stunned it back. I thought. Anyway, good chance now for Christina. Looks like Marco she was trying to give her. Carry on. 
Looks like she's trying to decide if she wants to go with uh, left spin or right spin and go around the rails. I like going around like this. Yeah, that's the way I like. Yeah, last nine she had, she missed. I can't see her missing this one, though. No, nah, she's too uh, too good a player to uh, make that mistake twice. Takes advantage of that miss by Roberto. Gets one back. Trails one game, three to two. Race to nine. Christina does playing a lot of the WPBA events as well. She's very good friends with Kelly Fisher and Alison Fisher. They've got a little gang going. The Fisher Swiss, the Fisher sisters. Yeah, that's easy for me to say. He <laughs> It was actually a singing duo called Scissor Sisters. Do you remember them? No. Yeah, they often play the joke, Alison and Kelly, telling people that they're sisters. Of course, they're not. They're not even related. There was another Fisher, a Mandy Fisher, that was a world snooker champion as well back in the in the eighties. 90s. So apparently if you want to be good at snooker, you have to uh, change your last name to Fisher. Yes. Or O'Sullivan. <laughs> Ronnie or Davis. The there was three, there was three um, Davis world champions as well. Joe and Fred were brothers and Steve Davis, of course. So was there more than one no Sullivan other than Ronnie? No. Okay. <laughs> There's only one Ronnie O'Sullivan. Thankfully. Yeah. Tricky positional shot here. Nicely done. This is even more difficult, though. Yeah, this is a tough one. I mean, do you go with right spin, try to go three rails around the table to try to land around where that Accurac is? Yeah, she's got to watch the... She's going to have to hit just before the side pocket if she's going all around. And she's got to watch the corner pocket scratch as well, so... I kind of like going high left here. Just really push the boat out and go for it. Very doable shot. I prefer that than going all around. Let's see how she plays it. Doesn't Didn't like even it. even play it. Oh, and this is a good shot she's played there. Roberto won't like that. I think he's got a one round kick though to be honest doesn't look as bad second glance as it did at first he does two, have though. he does have options for kicking two rails this way you can go two rails up table go even one rail to that bottom rail all right good hit and oh, he's going to get a safe beautiful. out of it Christina, very, very good with the jump cue. Unfortunately, they're not allowed in this particular event. But she's a very good jumper. Roberto demonstrating perfectly why there is that old saying that the best safety is uh, not letting your opponent to the table at all. Because even if you play a good safety, that that doesn't entitle you to anything is that the other player they might get lucky on a good kick they might kick it in they might kick you safe you never know what's going to happen when you give up control of the table yes she nearly did there almost kicked it in now this is a bank shot that Roberto will not refuse Held the cue ball nicely for the four. 
Getting to the five might be a little tricky. Could just draw back and play short side. I think he's got an angle to run it round though, has he? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Now then, can he see enough of it? He might be no, able to cut this in the, the corner. Answer. Uh, the way he just looked though, Kevin, I don't think he can. He's going two rails here. Nine ball. Wow. It's there. Well, it must have been dead set. That's why he chose to play it. It's a nice little bit of a roll. Having caught the five, nudged it into a dead set combo. And that's exactly why he's played it. Very creative. Had to wait for it. <laughs> Just such a nice temperament Berto has. Doesn't hang about racking them up either. Marks his fourth rack on the beads. So he hasn't racked them. Be. He hasn't racked them in exactly the same order, but it's very close. He has the two and the eight as the wing balls, like last time. The three and the seven are behind the one, like last time. Yeah, so. we're going to keep our eye on this one. I tell you, and making that wing ball, the two ball, is a big help in my opinion, and that's not random racking. Yeah, there might be some pattern one racking ball. going on. We're not sure. We'll keep an eye on it, though. We'll see what he does next rack. If he if he yeah, wins I mean, another it game, wasn't, it it wasn't last rack, was it? I mean, the yes, okay, the two ball was, but that's not random racking, is it? If you keep putting the two as the wing ball, right? Well, we'll see what he does next rack. If he if he wins a game again, if he does, I'm going to run down there and have a word in his ear, <laughs> and tell him to get his cap straight at the same time. Nice full stroke on this now as well. Draw straight up for the four ball. I had more of an angle, so he's going to have to play the, the combo. Looks pretty straight on though, doesn't it? Definitely looks very makeable. His cap like that is driving me crazy because it looks like his <laughs> head's not straight on the queue. <laughs> Look. It's like he's, he's, he's not even looking. Look side. Yeah, it's like no. he's not even looking. <laughs> it's like that trick shot they play, isn't it? Yeah, Turn where you line up. Away. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Take the cue off the hand, bring it back round and turn your head. <laughs> I really could watch this guy play all day. So good to watch. Overhit this one just slightly. May have to nudge into the nine here, push it towards the corner, maybe even into the corner. Or can he draw past it? No, oh, yeah, he drew past it, no problem. Another lovely rack. It's going to be 5 2. Three rack lead. Superman flying. Yeah, there goes the two once again. All right, the rest of the balls are at random, but he is putting that two as the wing ball every time, it looks like. Yeah, and if Christina sees it, she will say something because she's not afraid to implement the rules if she does spot it. P5 
people watching may be thinking, well, does it really make that much difference? Well, it kind of does because, you know, you're not worrying about where the two ball's going to go. He knows that's going to go in the in the corner pocket. The one's going to come up over the opposite end of the table corner pocket. And that two is going oh, straight in. Time. Yeah, that wing ball goes straight in every time so far. Yeah, and they've noticed the one ball there just caught the point of the side pocket. Otherwise, it would have been more or less in line with where the the cue ball is now. It's the break he's been using all the time. Yeah, he so drew the he drew the cue ball up table, trying to play position on the one because that's where the one has been going. But the one had other plans. This rack. He's left Christina a bit of a teaser. Not an easy one. Not really easy to get to the three either, so... Oh, where's the safety coming from? Not an easy shot, not an easy safety. And if they're as hard as each other, you might as well have a go at it. Or pass it back. Or pass. Oh, yeah. I think she might do, you know. No, she's going for it, is she? She's teasing us. Don't be surprised <laughs> if we don't see her. There we go. We might see a, a white cap appearing. No, she's taking it. Very, very tough shot. And she's going to find herself in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, left a pretty easy safety for Roberto. So easy, he's going to turn his head to the side while shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> Was this going to bounce up and let Christina have a look at it? I don't know. Might have done. Having a good look at it. I think it does. I think there's an edge here. I'm not sure whether there's enough of it poking out to make it. But she can certainly get the cue ball in between the rail and the five and back down. Or is she kicking? It's hard to tell. I think she's kicking. Kicking yet. Oh, cue ball. Oh, no, cue ball. No, cue ball. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, we are playing three foul rule. And if this one ball doesn't go. He might leave us up behind the eight. He was just looking at the 2-8 combo to see if that's lined up. I mean, the one does go to that bottom left corner if, you know, that is available. Yeah. It's just, can you get to the three? Yeah, that's the, that's the tricky bit. I'm just looking at the 1-8 combo. On screen, it doesn't look lined up. It looks like it's lined up towards the five a little bit, but he's shooting at it, or is he playing safe? He might be playing I think safe. He's shooting at it. No, I don't think he plays safe that way. Where's the safety playing it that way? Two rails in, like behind the seven. Thin off the one. If he's playing safe, why doesn't he just put it? over the other side of the eight and just stop the cue ball and send the the one around. We must be going for this. Well, that was nowhere near close, was it? That's a... Oh, look at this. I say it's not close. I didn't realise he played it at the bank way. But where that eight ball hit, that's exactly what it looked like. It was lined up to on screen, so... And he was at the table, so he had a much better view than we did, so I don't know what he was thinking there. <laughs> yeah, 
He's not embarrassed, is he? Surely not. <laughs> I think he is. He's definitely laughing about it. I'd love to see Christina's face. Now, yeah, she's, she's probably not. she's probably not laughing about it. She might be staring at the ceiling a little bit. Just got to watch the four ball here. He's, he wants to play the three into the side. That's why he couldn't because of the four ball. So he's got a slightly more awkward three ball here. And he's traveled a little bit further than he wanted. Nice. Really does play those shots beautifully. Yeah, he's perfectly back in line now. Don't see any issues from here. Really hits hard, Kevin, does he? No, just nice and smooth. see that again here it's pretty to watch really does work that cue ball effortlessly I think he's waiting for a player on the next table they negotiated who gets to shoot Roberto up, 6-2. Yeah, two-thirds two of the way there. Let's see where he puts this two ball. Once again, puts it as the wing ball. Is that cheeky? I think it is. Do you think it is, Kevin? What's your view on that? The rules do say no pattern racking, that you must rack the balls at random, except for the one and the nine, you know, and the two can't be at the back. So if you are deliberately placing a ball in the same spot every time, that is against the rules, in my opinion. Well, I still got it. And here comes the one ball. Look at this. Perfect. And this is why they changed the rule. Even though it's kind of a break box, it's really not. It's it's still quite, you know, you can still put the cue ball quite far to the side rails. It's only a diamond, you know. Whereas the right. the, mat, the matrim rack is a uh, box is much smaller. overdone this a little bit more angle than he wanted gonna have to draw it to the side rail low right hand English five o'clock on the cue ball didn't really get much English on it did he not much right hand English No, that was more like quarter past five. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. There you go. And it's looking very bleak for Christina. Fargo agrees with us as well. 
1% chance for Christina. I don't think it was much more at the beginning. Pretty oh, I'll good take Fargo those. I'll take uh, I'll take 100 to 1 odds. I'll I'll bet a dollar on Christina for 100. You might as well just give it to me. All right. <laughs> Consider it a tip. <laughs> Yeah, it's just uh, a little bit too far. She's not really getting her chances. And when she does get to the table, she's either got only a safety to play or a very difficult shot to take on. She hasn't really had that many opportunities to be totally fair to her. And uh, Roberto has really figured out this break. He's making the wing ball every time he's playing position on the one. He's getting a good spread. So the break is, he's really figured out the break on this table. So uh, it's a possibility Christina oh. won't even get back to the table. Yeah, he's changed the two ball this time. It's good job. The eight ball. <laughs> good job, Roberto. Yeah, well done. Yeah, I'm not suggesting that he was doing it to, you know, to gain any unfair advantage. Sometimes it's just that's the way the balls are, and you pick them yeah. up. Just because it was three times in a row, yeah. Just because it was three times in a row doesn't mean it was intentional. It's very well within the realm of randomness that it could have just ended up that way. Yeah. And the eight ball going nowhere near this time. For the so first it's a dry time. Break. First time this set, he's missed the wing ball. Yeah, but look where the cue ball's gone. Every time the one ball has been going over one of the top corner pockets, apart from just the one time where it caught the point. Now, is there. No, there isn't. She's pushing out. Yeah, she might be getting this one back. I think he's already given it back, hasn't he? I thought she'd left a slither of it. Maybe she hasn't. I think she has, though. This looks awkward, doesn't it? Got to avoid the four ball or use it. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if she played that, but she'll take it. She needs it. Absolutely, she needs it. And absolutely, she's going to take it. <laughs> I sure would. Snatchy put a bit of a quick stroke on that one. A little bit out of sorts in this match. Plays much better than this, I assure you. Oh yeah, we've definitely seen her play better than that. We have another match of hers on our channel. a little bit of a snatch as well for Roberto not his normal smooth self and Christina just twist this cue ball no she can't she's looking at the one rail kick good hit and I think she's going to get a good result out of this desperately yeah, needed good solid hit Christina does a lot of travelling and so does her mother Maria friends on Facebook she's always posting pictures from somewhere around the world visiting lots of different countries 
I don't think she takes a pool cue with that. I think she takes the suntan lotion rather than a, than a cue with her though. <laughs> She's the smarter of the travelers, I think. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I do when I go abroad, I listen for the, the clicking of pool balls. I've got my own kind of antenna that takes me to the nearest pool table wherever I land somewhere new. <laughs> Myself, I always have to sample the local pizza. That's why I do second. I don't mean if the pizza. I don't mean the. I don't mean the pizza in the pool hall. <laughs> ah, I was going to say you go seek out the pizza. I'll set the balls up, and you can bring the pizza. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, looks like Roberto's going to get on the hill here, looking for the bridge. Oh look, he used, I was just going to say, I've never seen a player use the bridge left-handed when they're right-handed. Never seen that before. And I've Until just seen now. him do it. I'm not sure he does that all the time. I don't recall him doing that before. Wow. It's possible Roberto is naturally left-handed, but plays pool right-handed but then switches to his left hand when using the bridge, maybe. There are some left-handed people who shoot right-handed. And I don't, I don't just mean yeah. John Mora. Oh, you mean very well right-handed. Yeah, like, uh, they just naturally shoot right-hand. You know, they, they're normally a left-handed person, but they just, they just naturally play right-handed when they play pool. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I write left-handed. I play pool, you know, cue sports left-handed. I throw left-handed, but when I play tennis or cricket or ping pong, anything like that, I use my right hand. So I'm just a, I'm just a mess anyway. <laughs> All right, Roberto on the hill, 8-2, race to nine. Another ball missing. It's gone up the wrong end. He's going to throw it now, spin it back. There you go. It's his little thing that he does. Two ball going over the other side this time, so it was just a, a fluke. And it going there all the time. I think Three so. Or four times in a row. I think it was a coincidence. I don't think it was intentional. No. He's too nice a guy to do anything like that. All right, wing Another ball break. in the corner, position on the one. Everything is spread out. Yeah, Christina might not get back to the table. Yeah, I can't see any help for her from here. Three to the five. Sorry, four. Four to the... No, the four's gone, hasn't it? Four is gone, yeah. It's two, three, five, six, yeah. seven, nine. Yeah, I think it's over. Oh, if there was any kind of key shot, this is it, but it's no problem. Straightforward to get to the five ball. Just move the cue ball away from the side rail a little bit. Convincing win for Superman. 
flying to the next round. Oh, you're giving him these? He doesn't have to shoot them? <laughs> Christina might want him to shoot Christina. him now. So, what do you think my name is? Fed or Ghost? <laughs> All right, she does give it well, to him. All right. Nice win by Roberto there. And the key was really his break. He really figured out his break on, on this table. He was making a ball and getting position on the one every game except for one, I think. And I think that was the big difference yeah. this set. And this is nice because she's going to practice that first nine ball that she missed. Could have been so different had she not have missed it. She missed it by a long way, didn't she? About four inches. But one thing Roberto is really good he always hangs about and has a little chat afterwards. You know, he's not in a hurry to to get away from the table. No, he's either going to play a little bit more or probably going to help her with her break. Wouldn't put it past him. Wouldn't surprise hmm. me if he's helping her with a break now. Really wouldn't. Huh. Maybe I should uh, play him so he can help me with my break. <laughs> oh, he's racked the two at the back, though. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's during practice. It's legal. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, look, you see what I mean? He's even that's the kind of guy he is. Really is. What a nice guy. Notice he did it after he he did it after he beat her though, not yeah, before. Yeah, he's, he's not that nice. <laughs> 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 All right, on that, I am Kevin Ross along with Mark White. Thank you guys for watching. We have plenty more matches coming, so make sure you're subscribed and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you guys.